Well, it's funny because there's like this huge movement right now of people starting to get prepared again because what's going on in Ukraine and Russia right now and what's going on with NATO. And it's, it's causing a lot of consternation for people because they don't know what to do. They don't know where to start. They have failed, right? Because they haven't gotten prepared already. But now they're like, I've got to do something. And an ounce of prevention is worth and worth more than it's worth, more than right? Yeah. More than more than the more than the cure. If we can help people get better prepared, our mission has been resolved, right? With with all of that going, like I see so many questions. What do I do with the cyber attacks? What do I do with a nuke? You know, like those are the big, right? What do I do with the zombie apocalypse? I'm like, is that really going to happen? I, probably not. But we got to get prepared and. For me, it's the unemployment. Like growing up in a, in a poor household where my dad would get stiffed by a client or go over on a, or under on a bid and he'd win the bid, but then it cost him money, right? We, we had the food storage all the time. We had you know, stockpiles of deodorant, of toothpaste, of shampoo, of soap, of toilet paper, like all the things you use. It was a rotating, not pantry, but like we had our own 7-Eleven in our basement. Except I didn't have cool candy bars and, and soda, but we had pretty much all the necessities taken care of. You had you had the not, Slurpee machine then. You had Slurpee. Uh, I wish we we had chocolate chips, and we'd crack into the chocolate chips and eat those. And then my mom would go to make cookies, and she'd get and be out of, to be out of chocolate. Chip. Where are my chocolate chips? Who's eating my chocolate chips? And I'm like, it was Ryan every time. And my sister would be like, it was. It was Scott. And then Ryan's like, it was Angie. Like every one of us is like, it's that like everyone's pointing at each other. Nobody would take credit. Um, That's funny. But like, yeah. And the freezer's always stocked, but we had our garden. Like, and, and as opportunities presented themselves, you get better prepared in other ways. Mm-hmm. Like you grow up and you're like, hey, I need to worry about self defense. I need to worry about protecting my family. I need to increase my security in my home. Right. And you start getting more redundancies and you train people on skills and and it grows. And it's like you don't really think about it on a day to day basis. It just becomes part of your daily life. It becomes part of your practice. And I think that's when you get to the point where you can either get lazy or complacent and forget to do what you need to be doing um, or you can get super committed. (laughs) 